I thought I saw you pleaded not guilty. Tony, Tony I thought I had he is not guilty of he is you not guilty not of the crime here. they are charging him with. And let me tell you something. The only thing that's going to get to this jury is a straightforward, God's honest truth. Oh, the truth. What part of the truth would that be? It's the part where the angel wife steals all the FBI evidence, or is it the part where the loving husband cares so deeply for his wife that he sleeps get with out. the FBI this is an attorney agent that he hardly client even knows he slept okay. with her? Oh, it must be true love. That's why I stay single. Well, your clients are such a class act, Ross. Class Get act. It's an example of what you can expect in cross-examination. I don't know. Mm. I can handle her. But I don't want you to put Michelle on the stand. He has to. No. Let's get through Danny's testimony before we worry about anything else. Excuse me for a minute. Right. Because Lord knows if I bite the DA's head off, this thing could be done tonight. Danny, you can't trust these people. Tony, you gotta trust somebody. Blake, where the hell are you? ...to think that you're hiding behind your attorney. Okay, let's do it. Okay, you keep it simple, honest, just like you've been doing, we'll all be fine. Okay. So when Danny gets up on the stand, just rip him to shreds, all right? All rise. Be seated. The defendant may retake the stand. You're still under oath, Mr. Santos? Yes, sir. Well, <clears throat> Mr. Santos, that certainly was very interesting testimony that you gave us earlier. You admitted your mother's long-standing hatred of your beloved wife, Michelle. You admitted your own bitter conflict with your mother over many emotionally charged issues. And finally, you admitted to gunning your mother down on the night of November 14th. So, I guess my only question for you is, why'd you wait so long? Your Honor, It please. seems to me that you could have saved the FBI the local police and the good men and women of this jury a whole lot of trouble if you would have just admitted from the start what is so painfully obvious to all of us that you are a ruthless amoral criminal who shot his own mother in cold blood objection your honor Wolf is supposed to be questioning the witness, not lecturing the jury with her biased conclusions. Say the rhetoric for your closing statement, Miss Wolf. I'll rephrase. Mr. Santos, if you shot your mother, defending your wife, as you claim... And my unborn child. Then why didn't you and Michelle immediately go to the police and tell them what happened? Because I thought they would not believe me. Because of your less than stellar reputation and your many other brushes with the law? Because of my last name. Well, if the Santos name inspires fear and loathing, maybe there's a good reason. Was there a question in there? So, after you shot your mother, you didn't call the police. But you did call the ambulance, correct? No. You didn't call the ambulance? Why not? It was too late. My mother was already dead. I see. Do you have medical training to support that opinion? No. So, you didn't really know for sure? There was no heartbeat. My mother's breathing had stopped. In other words, she no longer posed a threat to you and your wife, so... why not call an ambulance just in case? I told you there was no point. There was no point, Mr. Santos, because you didn't want your mother revived, did you? No, you were relieved, even happy she was dead. Oh, shh. No, I was not happy. Oh, you were distraught over your mother's death? Yes, I was. So distraught that you wrapped your mother up in chains and you dumped her into that icy water like she was so much garbage. Objection! You dumped your own mother into that freezing black water and then you went on your merry way. Objection! As if She's nothing of any consequence witness. had Ms. happened. Miss Wolf, Taylor, what are you watch it. Shh. Don't let me have to warn you again. You won't have to, Your Honor. I have no further questions for this witness. But... 
I may, I, I would like to take this opportunity to thank both Mr. Marler and the defendant for providing me with both a motive and an admission of guilt. What? My job should always be this easy. What? Say something. Young man, be quiet. Order, order, man. What are you here. doing? Order in the court. Yes. Sit down and you be quiet. Sit down. You can kiss my ass. Support this gentleman. You call this justice? What? They're setting you up. I'm going to hold you in contempt if you don't Danny? leave. Leave now. What? Leave. Hey, let go of me. Let go. All right. Hey, I'm out of here. Hey, this is the last place I want to be. Mr. Santos, on the night in question, uh, November 14th, 2000, would you explain once more why it is you went down to the docks? I went to find my wife. My grandmother told me that Michelle would be there and that she was in danger. You did not go there for the purpose of killing your mother? No. In fact, you didn't even know she was going to be there, right? I didn't know she was alive. Indeed. Now then, when you arrived at the docks, why did you draw your weapon? Because my mother was holding her gun on Michelle. And why did you fire the weapon? Because I wanted to stop my mother from killing my wife and my unborn child. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. Mr. Santos, thank you very much, and I'm sure that your wife and Bobby, your young son, thanks you as well. Your Honor, no further. You may step down, Mr. Santos. I'm going to call a short recess before you question your next witness, Mr. Marler. This court will resume in one half hour. All rise. Uh, we have a bit of a problem with the testimony about the ambulance. I want to go back and rebut. And, I know it's all right. I'm clarified a little bit. So we're going to need Michelle sooner than later. So you're next. Okay. Hey. There's no smoking allowed in here. Oh. Since when did you start obeying the law? Oh. Oh, look who's talking. You know, Danny and I aren't the criminals here. You are. And I can't wait to prove it. Toro, we know that you planted the bullet in Carmen's body. <laughs> yeah, I also shot JFK, too, to tell you that. You know, you're not as smart as you think. You took the bullet from the wrong gun. No, the bullet is legit, so the gun's got to fit. That's the yeah, end of the yeah, story. Yeah, 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 except that it all starts with this body that you dragged from the water. You know? For all I know, you probably faked that, too. Tell you something, pea brain. The medical examiner's office made a positive ID on that body through dental records. There's an old forensic saying, even if your body's chopped up and you're murdered and you're put in a blender, the teeth keep talking. They don't lie. So don't take it out on me, okay? Don't take it out on me. Yeah, that's right, you creep. The teeth don't lie. 